Okay, that was very emotional. Three big bags. My hands are red raw. It's now time to do giving you. It's now time to do giving you. And I morning everyone so it's the last day before the first day of this new lockdown rules so and I'm attempting to go to my very first car boot sale this year I didn't go through lockdown I haven't been afterwards um, because it's just been so crazy around here and now I thought well if I'm gonna do a, if I'm gonna do a, um, a lockdown if I'm gonna do a car boot sale the only chance I'm really gonna get is gonna be now so, and, and I've just come across this road close sign to get to the car boot sale, so that's not a good start really, is it? Someone's just gone past it, but I don't know what's down there, so I'm going to go up around a different direction. There is one more way to get there. So, let's see, did I get to the car boot sale or not? <laughs> Check back in a few seconds. Alright, I made it. I'm um, past the thing, and, um, and at the moment it's really crazy that... It looks like no one's parking in the car park to the car boot sale. I mean, all the roads are packed on the outside, and there are there are the car booters on there. So, I bought my oldest out today. He wants to play Pokemon Go, so we're now gonna venture out with a few bags and see what goodies we can find. Okay, that was very emotional. Three big bags my hands are red raw I'm carrying it even even he was carrying something moaning because the hands were hurt look at that look at the state of these hands I need a trolley elbows hurt but first run of the boot sale took about an hour and a half to walk around and um we seem to have a fairly good haul so let's see what else we can find oh dear loads loads of stuff already too much gel Alright, let's get ready for the second one. And then um this one's not as big as the first one, but at least I don't have to carry them. I've got a car park space this time, I don't have to carry my kit so much, so let's see this one. And welcome back to the channel. So this is, as I said, the first and probably the last haul of 2020 for my car boot sale. So I haven't been out to one before because of the lockdowns. And then I'm going to do things what's coming out tomorrow um, with, with the UK. We can have more than six people. I'm not sure what car boots and sales we're going to be doing as well. So that is why I've gone out today and I've just targeted. Oh, I've just targeted. I've just targeted board games. Because I think if we do have another lockdown, these are things that are going to be going over. So, what did I actually pay for all this stuff? So, the whole lot you see on this table come to £47. A couple of things for ourselves, um, a couple of things for other little things. There is a couple of duffs in here, but because, because of the COVID, I couldn't check things really, so I just had to just take it, look at the box value, and then barter down depending on what I've actually got. Right, but I'm gonna, the first thing I'm going to do is just move this big massive mega block set up here. This is a, a fire, this is Dragon Spire in Ice Castle. I paid a whole whopping pound for this. It weighs a ton. I've just checked um, online and I haven't seen one sold, but they were listed in the States for 80 quid. And then, but in the UK, starting bids at 39, 45, 70, at 50 pounds, sort of on there. So, that's the, that, that's the, but actually the figures itself, some of the figures were selling for £7.50 each. Um, depends what I've actually got in here, I don't actually know, the person said it was all there, but I don't know. Um, it fills a weight, so if there is, if, if the figures and the main sort of stuff there, I might even break it down and sell it on that way. But for a pound investment in something like this, potentially this whole thing here could pay for everything on the table and then I'm fully in profit for the rest of the day. So, let's get this out. Okay, so stand over here, so this is the old pump, sort of air pump. I need one of these for the house because the little bit on the top over here is actually snapped on our one. 
so I needed one of these and selling for 50 pence each I was more than a good run but like that and um, we've got our air for 10 so I'll take that along so that's my one so that's 50p taken off of the old sort of bundle but the rest of this stuff is for 50 pence each this is an operation game I know it works because every time you squeeze the box it turns itself on but when I actually got back away from the store, I opened it up and found out that actually there is no little pieces in here whatsoever. Oh, uh, sorry, sorry, there's two little pieces, or three little pieces, and a couple of cards. So, I don't know why this thing keeps turning itself on, unless it's doing something on the back, but there's no reason why it should be turning itself on. Oh, I found some more pieces actually, there are some, a couple of more pieces in there. But for 50p, it might just be going with spares repairs. And we'll see where we come through through that actual box. See what I've actually got in there. Or I might just sell the little pieces. I've, 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 I've seen a couple of more little pieces. So you never know. We've got that one. That's 50p. Another thing we've got for 50p is it's this laser command laser pulse game. Shoots up to 15 meters indoors. Uh, it's, it's got a little waist belt and a little gun sort of on there. It seems to all be. Yeah, it seems to all be in there. They are laser guns, so I'm not really confident too much about the cables, how good these things are. But, we've actually got more than one gun inside there, actually. It's got a blue gun here. It looks like it's got two blue guns and two white guns, so it's actually a little bit better than actually what was looked at on the box. So, hopefully this can work. I wonder what this is worth, shall we? Let's have a quick look. Let's have a Okay, laser command. I've just searched online. You're looking anything from eight pound fifty to four pound ten, right up to twenty-five pound. So we'll see what happens. See how many guns I've got, and to roughly how I got. But it's going to be worth more than fifty p, even if I only sell one gun for five pound free postage, uh, because I can't get the rest of them working. I'm still going to get my money back for fifty p. That's that one. Got a good old Pictionary, you can never go far wrong with Pictionary. I usually sell these for about tenner each. Um, nice easy game, not a lot to it, just a few cards. Bits of paper, some pencils and some other little... It's got the dice missing though. I have this notice here, it's only got the three out of the five dice. But I do have a Pictionary set of dice in the house anyway. So I'll take that out of my spares box and put that inside so we're going to have a full Pictionary set. Probably going to have about a tenner on the old Pictionary. Oh. And every time I touch it, it just goes off. Right, we've also got a scene it. I say the, the basic scene it don't really go for anything really. Um, pay 50p. I'll be lucky if I get five or four, I think. But we'll have a look through what we got. It seems to have. Oh, it's actually sealed. The cards are still sealed inside here. So, yes, everything's sealed. So this is selling like new now. So it's gone from worthless to like new because it's been open but the game itself is still sealed inside <laughs> cannot grumble at that so cannot grumble at that so for 50p to a, to a like new box just like box surface damage i'm happy there and then we've got yahtzee again the for 50p i like the yahtzee they always seem to go i'll leave the wooden dice one two three four five six seven dice random I've never seen seven dice, I've always seen six dice. It's got score pads. It doesn't have the egg timer though. So they said to me it's all there, but as we say with everything in these day and age, we can't check stuff too much, can we, in car boot sales? So you're gonna have to take the word of the thing. But for 50p, I've still got the game without an egg timer. I'll probably hunt through my spares and see if I can actually find an egg timer in another game which is not really worth much just to put it inside it. So it's got a yard scene. Then we go on to the pound ones, so Rubby Cub, I'm not going to check that, that's the box is all sort of taped up, it's quite heavy. Uh, Rubby Cubs I've sold in the past, going from £15 to £20, depending on which Rubby Cub I've actually got. The last one I did sell went for like 20 quid, and all the yellow, and all the tiles were stained yellow from the pub. So, you never know, we'll see what happens on there. And then we've got a Monopoly, now this is a steal, this was, this is a create your own Monopoly. Um, the kid wanted a pound for this. Um, <laughs> random, he wanted £2 for Connect 4, but pound for this, so I said, yeah, I'll give you £3 for the boat. And that, but I've also got some other stuff as well. But this is a Crate Your Own. Again, it's still new and sealed. So everything 
it's still vacuum packed bar whatever that is meant to be inside there maybe the cards I'll work out later on but but the bot the board is all is all completely not non used all the money all the tokens the houses everything not used so we'll see what was meant to be inside that bag and work out how I've actually got it all if it's all there and I've actually got the stuff I'm probably looking about 15 quid for that for a pound then we've got smart arse so I've sold one of these in the past I get about a tenner for these they're not worth too much but it seems to all be there so I'm happy with that if I can get a tenner for that I'll be quite happy from a pound and then the last one a logo board a logo who am I this is the first time I'm looking at all this stuff with yourselves Right, we've got some tokens, four tokens, pencil, there should be something there but I'm not sure what should be there. Ah, oh, powder paper, yes, we're missing the powder paper. We've got one pencil, but other than that, it seems to all be there. So, logo board, so Drummond Park games, you usually get about between 10 and 15 pounds for one of those. So that's that. Right, then we move on to the two pound, <laughs> two pound thing. So as I said, connect four, this is a Hasbro version, so this is a newer version, this is like a 3D it looks like, so I haven't actually used one of these ones before, but if you checked out my video which came on a couple of days time, or yesterday I think it was, um, selling Connect 4s, so you see roughly all the other sort of styles, but this one only sells about eight, nine pounds all in, if you're lucky on there. Um, I'll look at this, there seems to be quite a lot of stuff with this one, so I'll check that one out later. We've got a Cluedo. So a clue of sealed at the moment so I can't open it up, but they've put brown tape over the, over the packaging. How annoying is that? If it's clear tape, a little bit better, but brown tape all over it. But Cluedo, I'm looking about, about a tenner, something like that for Cluedo, 10, 15 pounds, depending on what I've got. Failing that, Cluedo is another one of those good board games, which is really good for splitting down for spares. If people haven't got stuff, stuff goes, because there's so many little pieces, stuff goes missing all the time. I've got a cupboard for the spares. Um, of, of, of recent Cluedo boards which I haven't actually listed yet as spares and pairs so um, I might be able to find something on there um, what's this one? Numble? never heard of it, never never heard of it at all the green board company, don't have too much about that one yeah. this looks like a number sort of game but it looks like something similar to um, Rummy Cub really, sort of with numbers so I can't get information about that We've got the, the National History Museum. Uh, it was listed at 2.99. Paid two quid for it. It's all, my son's probably going to acquire this one because he's dino mad. Um, it's about evolving the dinosaurs and moving the dinosaurs around the board. We've got some Diplodocus. We've got a Stegosaurus. We've got a Triceratops. We've got two Triceratops. Two variations of them. Okay. No carnivores. There's no carnivores, so, which is really random. We usually get raw carnivores all the time, so we'll see what's meant to be inside that. I don't know anything about this, but the national. Okay, so the National History Museum boards or games. Usually, in the shops, you're losing about fifteen pound when you buy them new inside the shops in that place. They're quite expensive because there's merchandise in the day for the their company but they don't really sell too much other than that so I might only get about six pounds for that six seven pounds I was gonna sell it but probably not gonna go to my son anyway then we've got Atlantis Adventures I think I've sold this one in the past and there's also a lot of pieces to this one and I think I got about 15 pounds for it in the past so well, it's sealed down somewhere I can't open it up but there's a lot a lot of stuff to check with this one if it is that I'll be ha quite happy selling for 15 um, Let's have a quick look, let's have a quick scan. It's got a barcode on the back. But sold for eight, nine pound. So so again it's still gonna bring one or two pound profit inside it if it does go for that sort of price. Right, next one we've got another operation. I'm not again, not open this one up, two pound paid. Um, it's still got the sprue where everything came off. I'm looking around inside the packaging, it looks like I can see a lot a lot of pieces. So, yeah, it's working, and I can see a lot of pieces, so this operation, if it's all good, um, I might be looking about a tenner for this as well. 
but if not there might be the other operation there might be bits inside this one which might help because as I said most operation games a lot of the stuff were compatible all the same sort of stuff anyway so it's just, it's just they change the box and the packaging but they tend, to, they tend to keep all the pieces the same all the time we've got that all right so that is all of my board games now we've got all the other stuff um, which we looked at as well so let's have a quick look at this all right so the three pound pile Whoop, I nearly dropped that. I saw this big bag which I thought was Duplo. There's some Duplo pieces which are in here. I looked at the top of the bag and this grey one at the very, very top is actually Duplo. But then I've just I had to check before I actually got into doing the video. And no, most of these bricks aren't actually Duplo. They are Duplo replicas of the replica sort of system. And, and what was it what was it called? Kids Hum whatever that is brick by brick fire and rescue don't know that might be inside there so I do have a big bag of dupler anyway so I'll sift through this and pull the dupler out and see what I can do with the rest of it yeah it will still go maybe not on ebay probably on gumby there are some Duplo in here because I can see some Duplo bricks so I just need to double check inside that but originally I thought it was going to easy 20 quid um, easy 20 25 pound for this size of the, of the bag for three quid but um I can't remember if it was three or two I paid for it but now the iffy since I got home this Nerf Revelle <laughs> this is the one that takes the little balls yeah the one that takes the little balls I bought about 500 balls before, so I thought, well, well, I bought one of these before, I sold them for about 20 quid, uh, 20, 25 pound when I actually paid for it, and then I thought, oh, no, I'll, do. I'll buy a load of balls, and I've never seen one since. But this is like the more adult version, I'd say these things shoot like anything. Um, when you fire this thing off, it rock proper ricochets around the garden, and really hurts when it actually hits you, so it is more of an adult sort of version. He wanted fiver for it, but I couldn't get it to work in the car boots now. Got it all jammed and that sort of stuff. So I think I'll give you a free quid just in case it doesn't work. Because um, I can sell a magazine for, for a bit of money for that. Uh, but since I've been home, I've got it to work. So I'm going to probably put it up to 15 quid, 15, 20 quid, along with a bag of 500 balls. Because I've never seen any more of these ever since. So I'm not sure certain with the 500 balls. <laughs> um, <coughs> we've got some more receivable bags I needed. 150 a bag. So they were needed. Got a box set of the Lord of the Rings. Right, um, extended special edition pay a fiver for these yes it's quite expensive but um my son and that likes the Lord of the Rings I've got one and I've got two of these boxes already bought but not in a box set so I might just convert mine to this and sell my one off but you're not looking for too much for that but I, I do like working the Lord of the Rings thing and looking at the special editions that probably just kept with uh, with us but we've got prison break seasons one two and three full box set DVD pay a pound and um Hopefully I get far more than a pound for that. What's it going for? Okay, £4.12 free postage. £5 free postage. It's going to cost me £3 to post it. And a pound, so I'll make about a pound out of that. Bit of a waste, but we'll see. A couple of books. So my son loves Pikachu and, and Pokemon, so that was, that was 50p for this book. So we've got on there, but I've got my daughter one. This is signed by the author. Uh, this is the pound because it's signed, the Moon Girl. So we're probably going to give her that one to have a quick look at. And then we've got a complete load job lot of Only Fools and Horses DVDs. It's, um, I pay £5 for the lot and there's 17 of them. So it's, it's a complete season. Um, all of them season one through to whatever it is. Uh, I paid a fiver, hopefully probably about 15 quid for that maybe. Maybe maybe a bit more. We'll, we'll soon see what that brings up. And then we move on to my electronics. So we've got a Sky, Sky Q Hub, so it seems it will be in there, the paperwork, the box, all the packaging, everything inside of the box. Pay £2 for that, I think it's £2, either £3 or £2. So it wasn't too much, they tend to sell for about £15. If that, I don't know if that was the last time I sold them, so I need to double check nowadays, see what actually that's going for. And then this is a bit of a job lot. <coughs> there is a 
TP link and there's another TP link. This one's got no box or no power lead. This one's fully boxed and power lead. And then we've also got a Vodafone hub as well with everything inside there. Um, I paid four pounds for all three of them from the same sort of person. She, she wanted four pounds just for, for this one. And I said, well, I'll, I'll take both of them off here for four pounds. So I've got a power lead to fit this. So I might probably power lead this up and I'll see what voltage that needs and do one separate. I've also got other cables and that sort of keeps on my spare cable box. So I might probably actually set the exact same what this has got without the stuff as well. I don't know what they go for. Um, but routers generally, I've been selling routers about a tenner when I've been selling them. So you're looking at about 150 each, so two pound for that, two pound for that. That's bunged in for free, so we'll get the money back on there. Okay, so that's all my sort of stuff today for the for the haul. I hope you liked that, and I was glad to be back. And it actually felt quite nice doing a haul video. I haven't done one for ages, and um, and been to Carby, so I, and, and I've got the buzz back. I say I've got the reselling buzz back. I started rewatching some videos again. Um, I've finished selling all my stuff off. Bit of chance to get out, putting forty-seven pound down, and hopefully getting a two hundred plus return. It's not a bad day's work, really, is it? So, in the next video, hope to, see, hope to see you later on. There's going to be a sounds update coming fairly shortly. Um, just bringing some stuff out, some electronics, some computer games, some retro gaming stuff. And then, um, I'll, if I get any more hauls, I'll bring another one out. That's it for now. Hope everyone has good hunting. Bye for now.